Now, what about spreading to the kidneys? How, uh, why does that happen? Well, sometimes the bacteria travels, as Dr. Murillo mentioned, at the, from the level, there's two, two different types of, of, when we speak about UTI, we see lower UTIs and UTIs at the level of the kidneys. Mm -hmm. See, when, when, when the bacteria travels from the ureters up, from the bladder up to the actual uh, kidneys, we call that a pyelonephritis. And the symptomatology associated with that uh, infection is different, it's quite different than, than uh, when it's at the lower level, at the level of the bladder. Once you start, once the bacteria travels to the kidneys, you start having those symptoms of the cost, what we call costal vertebral angle tenderness, CVA tenderness. Right. Pain in the back, tenderness. Some patients present uh, with nausea and vomiting. Mm -hmm. Those patients are, they present more with systemic sign of infections, things like fevers, right. um, high fevers. That's a severe UTI. Correct. That turns into what you say, nephrit nephritis. Correct, nephritis. nephritis. okay. And we have a graphic as well that I want to bring up because there are ways, as Dr. Murillo mentioned, uh, with drinking water as being one of the most recently proven ones that is effective, other methods of prevention as well. And can we talk about these, uh, Wilbur and Dr. Murillo? We said drink plenty of water, urinate when you feel the knee, which does that mean don't hold it, don't hold it in? Yeah, women have the tendency to really hold uh, the urine longer than men, mm -hmm. and that may be a, a way to predispose them for, for infection because once the urine is in the bladder, uh, you know, bacteria live really well in, in urine and, and uh, reproduce well. Uh, okay, so uh, there is another point here. Why from front to back? That really has never been proven. That uh, really? is a way to prevent, really, you can read it in all the, the good journals and the, all the good talks. So, but it's a common uh, belief. Right. And uh, uh, urinate shortly after sex is another point that is really stressed and say that it may prevent urine tract infections. But however, it's still not really 100% proven either. Okay? What about but it's having a good habit. Showering after the gym, is that? Or no? Not really. Shower after the gym, yes. Is, I think it's very important to shower immediately right. after the gym so you can get rid of all the bacteria. But nothing in terms of. Uh, at the gym, but not necessarily for urinary tract infection. Yeah.